The structures of the oral cavity that you are responsible for identifying are listed on your study guide. This is an image from your textbook. It shows a anterior view of the oral cavity on the right and a corresponding sagittal section of the oral cavity and the pharynx on the left. Let's look first at the sagittal view. I want to point out that this is the oral cavity. The oral cavity is separated from the nasal cavity by the hard palate. That's the bony portion of the roof of the mouth. And then posterior of that is the soft palate. And the soft palate also includes the uvula. The uvula is that little fleshy structure that hangs down and plays a very important role in swallowing. I want to point out two lymphoid organs, which are the tonsils, the palatine tonsils, which are here on the posterior portion of the oral cavity, and the lingual tonsils, which are at the base of the tongue. Lingual refers to tongue. So if you remember base of the tongue, lingual tonsils. The palatine tonsils are attached, or not attached, they are close to the soft palate. In fact, you can see the palatine tonsils on the anterior view of the oral cavity. I'll also point out the frenulum that attaches the tongue to the floor of the oral cavity. This entire structure here is the tongue and the labia, which are the lips. The salivary glands are not visible in this image, so we're gonna look at another image to identify the salivary glands. This figure shows the salivary glands. There are three that you need to be able to identify. The parotid salivary glands, which are anterior and a little inferior to the external acoustic meatus of the ear. You have the sublingual salivary glands, which are under the tongue. Again, lingual refers to tongue. Sub is below. And below the mandible, you have the submandibular salivary glands. So the names are very, very descriptive. I'm going to use this figure to illustrate three frenulums. A frenulum is a thin piece of tissue that secures the structure. And yet these that I'm going to point out have specific names, but you only have to know them as the general term frenulum. This is the superior labial frenulum that secures the uh, upper lip or superior labia. Under the tongue, you have the lingual frenulum that secures the tongue to the floor of the oral cavity. And we have this third frenulum, the inferior labial frenulum, which secures the inferior labia. Again, uh, you don't have to know the specific names, just know the general term, frenulum. And I think you will agree that you have all seen and touched frenulums before, and now you know the correct term for these structures. Let's now turn our attention to the pharynx and esophagus. The pharynx is this long tube that runs from the posterior end of your nasal cavity all the way down to the opening to the larynx. And the larynx is where your voice box is located, right? This would be your Adam's apple here, okay? Just to give you an idea. Another name for pharynx is throat. So the pharynx is your throat. Again, it runs from the posterior end of the nasal cavity all the way down to the opening to the larynx. The pharynx is subdivided into three components. 
the portion posterior to the nasal cavity is called the nasopharynx. It's not on your study guide because it is part of the respiratory system, not the digestive system. Food should not be passing through the nasopharynx. The second portion is the oropharynx. The oropharynx is posterior to the oral cavity, and it is part of the digestive system as well as the respiratory system. The laryngopharynx is posterior to the larynx. So this area here is the laryngopharynx. It is also part of the digestive and respiratory system because it's a common passageway for food and air. Inferior to the laryngopharynx, we have the esophagus. The esophagus is only part of the digestive system. Air is routed here through the larynx into the trachea. Food normally passes down into the esophagus on its way to the stomach. So here at the oropharynx and the laryngopharynx, we have common passageways for food. Both the oropharynx and the laryngopharynx are both part of the respiratory and digestive systems. The esophagus is only part of the digestive system just as the larynx is only part of the respiratory system because this is where food and air are separated. Let's now identify all the structures that we can on this sagittal head model. So here we have the labia here. This would be our oral cavity. Here's the tongue, hard palate, soft palate, including the uvula. Here we have the palatine tonsils. This would be the lingual tonsil. Here's our pharynx stretching from the posterior end of the nasal cavity all the way down to the uh, posterior portion of the larynx, which is the laryngopharynx, and here posterior to the oral cavity is the oropharynx, and then this would be the esophagus, of course. Note that you will not be asked to identify the salivary glands on this model, nor will you be asked to identify a frenulum on this model.